Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of uh, what I'm doing this week uh, with my guitar. Um, I definitely need a better name for this series than that. If anybody's gotten ideas, please give me a, send me a message and let me know what you think this could be called. I'm John Holenko with Hungry Monk Music and I'm just doing a series of videos to kind of just document what I'm working on at the time this week, today, this afternoon, whatever comes up. Uh, lately I've been uh, working on some fiddle tunes for the guitar. Now, fiddle tunes, traditional App Appalachian American fiddle tunes or Irish fiddle tunes, were tunes conceived on the fiddle, on the violin. They work well on the mandolin as well. Um, they are sometimes not very playable on the guitar. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Um, the guitar um, presents a little bit of a challenge with reach and just various things. Um, but I was just trying to figure out which ones I could do on the guitar. So this week I've been working on uh, an Appalachian tune called Over the Waterfall. Over the Waterfall is in the key of D major. And fiddle tunes and Beethoven symphonies have to be played in the key that they're written in. You can't just simply transpose them into other keys. I guess you can with a fiddle tune, but you won't be able to play with other people. Everybody plays Over the Waterfall in the key of D. That's the key it's in. D is a pretty guitar-friendly key. And the tune goes something like this. works pretty well on the guitar. There's some awkwardness to that uh, tune, makes it a little bit difficult to play, but it kind of works. One thing that guitar players do is they'll use their capo, particularly on the second fret. What that does is a lot of fiddle tunes are in the key of A. A is a fairly friendly guitar key as well, but G is a real friendly guitar key, and if you put the capo on the second fret and play out of G, play what looks like a G chord, it sounds like A. And then you've got all these cool little G licks at your disposal that are harder to do in A. Same thing with key songs in the key of D, capo the second fret, play out of C, right? What looks like a C chord, but sounds like a D chord. tricks. And Over the Waterfall, turns out, fits really well this way. So this is Over the Waterfall, same tune, same key, key of D, now out of C.
So I can do some different things with the key of C. Kind of an interesting thing. I've been playing Over the Waterfall in the key of D, out of D for a long time. Just suddenly decided to put a capo on the second fret and see what it was like out of C. It caused me a little bit of problem at first, but uh, now I actually kind of like it. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. So uh, there's an idea. Um, fiddle tunes. Uh, it might be in the key of D. Capo at the second fret. Play them out of C. I actually have a whole handful of them that I can do now. Um, um, June Apple. Much easier. That one's actually in A, so I'm playing it out of G. Uh, another one with the C is uh, Liberty. So the forked deer. So coming up with a few of these. Anyway, that's what I'm up to these days. Just uh, doing that, wasting my time with uh, learning fiddle tunes. And uh, if you want to learn more about uh, these kind of things or how to play instruments, go to Hungry Monk Music Online our new online subscription service with um, uh, videos, courses in how to play. Uh, right now we've got guitar, mandolin, piano, uh, ukulele, and rhythm bones for you guys, your percussionists out there. And uh, www.hungrymonthmusiconline.com. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.